Does anybody know somebody who just fills up cans by the little jerk off cans with a single hose, no gauges, nothing. They're really good, they're professionals. They have 40 years of experience and say all their cars blow out cold when they leave their shop but yet they're replacing compressors for some reason. Did you know compressors last longer than engines and transmissions? Did you know the guy with the little whack off cans is the ones who's responsible for burning up compressors? Well, let's take a look at this example right here on this Ford. So we got uh, 822 grams. 822 grams is the fill charge. And this is a Ford F100. And we have a 2019. And it is coming out of the dash at 30, 39 degrees Fahrenheit. There's the temperature right there. 39 degrees Fahrenheit. That's where I'm taking the temperature with my blue uh, field piece JL3RH. And I re recommend every shop get one of those, two of those. And every school for automotive air conditioning should be t teaching with digital gauges, no analog gauges. Go crank over your Model A or go home. Um, okay, so we got 39 degrees. That is perfect. We are good to go. Happy customer, give me the money, collect. His tail lights go out the door. I'm the mechanic, I got a wad of cash, we're all happy. 460 grams. I only put in 460 grams out of 822 grams. We're basically just a hair over a half full, but I got 39 degrees out the dash. I could tell you this little compressor is screaming bloody hell and is being tortured right now. Now, let me see, I'm just running out of batteries too, aren't I? I think I'm down to my last on my batteries. Well, my batteries on my gauges die. I gotta go grab some more batteries here in my car. Uh, liquid line temperature, 110 degrees. Look at our superheat. We have a 78 degree superheat. It's an expansion valve system and somebody says, oh, but we don't use superheat on expansion valve systems. Bullshit. That tells you there's a problem. Yes, this tells you there's a problem too, but maybe not because some cars are six degrees uh, subcooling. Some cars are, well, 50 on the superheat on some cars, but not this one. So let me clamp over and show you what this little compressor is screaming about. See if I could get this contacted right there somewhere. If I could get good contact. Um, well, that's the best I could get. It's a little cock, so it won't give me full temperature. We're already at 153 degrees, and we're in here. It's only, uh, let's see, the outside temperature is only 74 degrees. There's no sun load on the car, so there's really no load, and I'm already at 154 degrees Fahrenheit on the discharge and I don't even have a good contact or good clamp right now because it's a little cocked. It's working it's a little hard. It's not getting full cooling back to the compressor and it's not getting full oil return back to the compressor. All right that's enough for that one. Game over here for those guys who jerk off the cans until they get 39 degrees out the dash because this only has 460 out of 822. See you guys.